Welcome to Carlton's Math Corner. Today we are going to continue our study on the Pythagorean Theorem. At this time, please make sure that you have your math journal, vocab packet, as well as something to write with. Our target today is I can apply the Pythagorean Theorem to, world, to solve world problems. Okay, so let's look at our first world problem. We have Mr. Toledo, and he is locked out of his house. The only open window is on the second floor, which is 28 feet high. There is a bush along the edge of the house, so he places the neighbor's ladder 10 feet from the house. To the nearest foot, what length of ladder does he need to reach the window? So down below, I drew out a picture of this because when I solve problems, first of all, I like to draw a picture, but also I like to highlight key information. And so when I go through this, um, I definitely want to highlight that the window is 28 feet high. Um, and that there is a bush by the house because that's going to be part of my drawing. Now, I also would highlight that the ladder is 10 feet from the house, okay? Um, because I need to also add that to my drawing. Um, and then it says, what is the length of the ladder? So we're trying to find what the length of the ladder is. And so below, here's my drawing. And so here's the window, 28 feet high. Um, the bush is 10 feet from the house. And so I put that. Um, and then that's because that's where I put my ladder, is right where the bush is. So I put the ladder there. Then. I kind of finish it off as a triangle because if I draw the ladder up to where the window is, it creates a triangle. And so this reminds me of the Pythagorean theorem. We have two legs. We could call this one leg A and this one could be leg B. And then this one could be leg C, right? Okay, so let's look at the Pythagorean theorem again. And let's plug in these the information that we're given. So um, here is the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And below, notice I plugged in 10 and then squared because that was a and then plugged in 28 28 squared because that's b and then c squared is what we're trying to figure out the hypotenuse so if we square a, a 10 it's 100 if we square 28 784 then we add them together 884 equals c squared and remember our last step is to take the square root to find out what C is. And so if we take the square root of 884, we actually get an answer of 29.732137, etc. But in the problem, it actually says round to the nearest foot. And so if we round this number, we would get an answer of 30 because if you look at this is the hole nearest hole is 29 but we have to look at the number that's next to it that's to the right of it and it's a 7 because it is 5 or higher that means I have to bump it up so it's no longer 29 it is now 30 so my answer is and let me make sure my square is off there we go 30 feet and we found the length of the ladder. Nice job. A baseball diamond is a square. The distance between consecutive bases is 90 feet. Okay, so here is um, a drawing of that. So here is home plate. Home plate is down here. Then first base, second base, third base. And 
all of them are 90 feet apart. And notice, um, the first question I have is how far does the catcher have to throw the ball from home plate, so standing on home plate, to second base? So in order to figure that out, we need to, if you look at this, we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem because we, if we look at the, a triangle, because they're both the same, they're both equal. So one of the uh, right triangles, if we take one of them, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse of it. And so here are the legs, 90 feet and 90 feet, and then we need to find the hypotenuse of that. Okay, so let's look at how to find that. Okay, so first step, we need to plug in the 90 uh, feet for each of the legs, so 90 squared plus 90 squared, and 90 squared is 8,100, so we plug that in for both of them. Then we need to add them together. So 8,100 plus 8,100 is 16,200. So our last and final step is to figure out what is the square root of that? Because we're trying to find what C is, not C squared. So remember the inverse of squaring something is square rooting it. So uh, the answer to square rooting it would be 127 and 28 hundredths feet. Or if we're looking for, um, you know, the total feet, well, it would be about 127 feet. Okay, now look at the next question. It says if the catcher is five feet behind home plate, because remember a catcher usually doesn't stand um, on home plate. Yes, sometimes they do, but when a batter is up to bat, they stand behind the batter, so they're about five feet back. How far does he or she have to throw the ball to second base? Well, we already found out how far it is to throw from home plate to second base, correct? Well, now if the catcher is five feet behind home plate, Really, we're just adding five feet to the answer that we found, and we found that it was 127 feet, correct? Let me get it out a second again. 127 feet. So if we take 127 feet and all we do is add on five feet, how far does the catcher now have to throw to second base? 132 feet, nice job. Okay, so for tomorrow, here's what I'd like you to do. I would like you to find the height of this sailboat. Thank you so much for joining me at Carlton's Math Corner, and I look forward to meeting with you again.